These up here, these are called these are called couplers, and they basically allow the different keyboards to, to interconnect with each other. Um, for convenience or for whatever you're used to, you can um, these first three manuals. I can interconnect them any way I want. And so sometimes people like the great to be here, and a lot of, uh, for example, English music, the great is usually the second keyboard, whereas in French music and German romantic music, the great is usually down here. And so it's nice to have the option to flip them, because sometimes the French require you to do things like thumbs down, thumbs down. To, you're playing here, and you're also playing down here. It's a lot harder to do thumbs up, <laughs> just the way we're built. So that's what it is. Uh, and then, um, you know, it's a matter of each each stop has its own particular character, but also has a a number on them. And these numbers refer. Do you know what they refer to? No. Did you research that? This these are feet. So this this is an eight foot principle, which means that the lowest pipe, low C, is literally eight feet long. And um, to the properties of of harmonics, basically, uh, when you cut it in half you're gonna have an octave. And so this pipe is four feet long. And this pipe will be two feet, this is one foot, this will be six inches, and this pipe is literally three inches long. Um, and uh, the counterpart, if you 16 foot, this pipe is gonna be an octave lower. Then let's compare this to eight, to four, to two, to one. And so what the organist does, it's sort of like the, the, the very first synthesizer, we, we create we can create our own sound. So I'll, uh, usually in standard music, you would always have an eight foot as your main starting point. So on a piano, middle C would correspond to the same pitch as an eight foot. And I'll just go through a few different eight foots for you. You can hear they all sound different. Different colors, different timbres, volumes. Oh, that's four foot. Okay, so. Um, what I can also do, I, I can build up, uh, starting from an eight, um, I'm gonna go through the harmonic series. The harmonic series, if you're not familiar with it, it's um, when you hear a given note um, at a specific pitch, you're hearing the pitch, but you're also hearing a particular color. I mean, this color is very different than this color. It's the same note very different and the reason the color is so different is because the way the sound is produced is different but you are hearing harmonics a distribution of harmonics that um, make it sound like a trumpet so if you hear a train whistle and a, a singer and a violin all play the same note and then you electronically filter out the harmonics if you're you filter it down to the fundamental you're, you're not going to be able to distinguish them apart they will all sound the same so what the organist does, we can actually control, um, we, can make, we can actually create our own colors. So I'm going to start with the fundamental. I'm going to add the octave. Here's the octave. And I'm going to add a non-unison pitch. I'm going to add the fifth, which is a strong interval. And then we add the next octave. And then the next harmonic is the third. And then another fifth. And then finally the top octave. So I'm playing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you're hearing. You're hearing sort of a new sound that doesn't exist in nature. <laughs> and so I can, you know, manipulate it by leaving out this note or leaving out this pitch. I can create different colors. Or, or I can take. So you're actually hearing pitches that are not part of the... You're hearing a non-harmonic pitch, but your brain doesn't know that. So for example, let's try something, a little experiment here. Okay, listen to this note. I'm gonna do a little experiment. I'm gonna try to pull out the, the harmonic that... So for example, I hear this one very loud. Can you hear it lingering? You think it might be your ear's memory, but it's actually not. You're actually hearing this note. Do you hear this? Do you hear this pitch? I do. It's sort of like those 3D images. You know, you, you got to see it the right way. Then all of a sudden, you can see it. Mm -hmm. sort of, okay. Here's one. You're gonna have the. Little... 
It's not exactly in tune. And it's funny because it's, sometimes I hear it, sometimes I don't. Anyway, when I'm looking for it, I try to match it with a pitch, but um, um, it's not truly in tune with it. The harmonics are slightly sharp or flat, or I'm not sure exactly which. Anyway, um, and then you have, th so that's what these, these fraction numbers are. They are non-unison. So if this is, see, this is, see, this is going to be a G. This is an E. They're non-unison pitches. Okay. Um, and then you have the ones with Roman numerals on them. And those refer to multiple ranks of pipes with one stop. So this is actually five rows of pipes at once. And you basically get one I showed you. You're getting this in a different version. Okay? Yes. Okay, maybe I should play something for you. Bach, since everybody seems to like Bach. Um, I can play the opening of a piece that Bach wrote on one of his many journeys. He came back to find his wife dead and buried, and so he was obviously rather distressed, and I think this piece kind of expressed the way he felt. so on and so on. It's very dark music. And then the counterpart is a lot of his uh, main uh, his organ output is these, these double pieces, prelude and fugue or fantasy and fugue or toccata and fugue. So here's the, f the, the connected fugue. But this is a happier song. Um, so we'll just play a section. Um, a fugue structurally is a piece uh, based on a theme, or it's called a subject, which appears in a single voice. And then uh, once that theme has played through, voice number two will come in, and then it can go up to five voices. This is a four voice fugue. So you will hear um, soprano, alto, tenor, and finally bass in the pedals. So you can, um, when you think the pedals are about to come in, you can aim the camera down here. Let me try again. Come on, <laughs> wake up. All right, here we go.
longer too.